Right, so hi guys. We'll be going over tutorial, a Photoshop tutorial for a lead DI assignment. So this Photoshop tutorial will have to put an arrow, just one arrow, uh, within your best photographs, the five best photographs that you've taken already. Uh, from a, an arrow that points from one point to the other. So in this photograph, my eyes are leading along the fence and curving along toward this person, toward the subject. Okay, so we'll be using these two photographs to uh, go through the tutorial. First, you'll have to save your photographs. Um, you'll have, uh, yeah, you'll have the fo uh, folder called Best Photographs, and you'll have five photographs on there here already, right? So for me, I have two. You should have five. Um, you're just going to copy over these two photographs into a folder, another folder called Photoshop. So I'm just gonna press Control C. Uh, or you can go right click and press copy. I'm doing this on Mac, that's why it looks a bit different. But uh, we're just moving over the you know, photos. So I already have it copied over. You can press Control V to copy over, to paste over, or um, right click and paste. Right? So let's go to Photoshop, open up Photoshop. Uh, I've already opened the two photographs already. You go to File, Open, find the folder, Photoshop. Uh, shift to click multiple uh, items then open okay should give you multiple tabs so I've opened two photographs at once so there's two photographs open okay so we'll be using pen tool to draw a line across this photograph so my eyes are leading from this general area here all the way up to the very top point top end of the photograph right so we'll be use uh, we're using pen tool just so that we get kind of used to the pen tool. Pen tool is very important uh, within any kind of Photoshop editing. Okay, so it's it's good that you're uh, trying to uh, you're practicing it and uh, mastering it will definitely help you in the later years when you want to edit something. Uh, we're not going to use brush tool. I know it's very easy to draw an arrow like this, uh, but you won't learn anything this way, okay? So I'm just gonna undo this. So pen tools right here, right over the text tool. You're gonna press um, where your eye leads first to the very end, right? And kind of draw an arrow kind of shape, okay? You see when you click on it, you it creates points, right? Every time you click on it. So when it makes kind of this minus sign right beside the pen tool, it means that it's going to delete the, uh, the point that you've put in. So uh, be careful with that. Okay, It's very hard to see with the stroke. Um, so let's change up the color of the stroke. I want you guys to use the color that's very contrasting to the background of the, uh, of the photograph. So in this case, this stroke color, the, the pattern color, I don't know why it's set to this, but it's very hard to see. So let's just change to black or any other color that uh, works with this so um, and the fill should be transparent if you want you can keep it black if you want to okay uh, keep the width pretty thick so it can be easily seen so because if you put it at this it's very hard to see right so keep it at around eight points that should be enough right when you're done just click on this or just press V right uh, that's about it uh, you are more than welcome to edit the photograph itself um, by going through the adjustment layers, right? You just click on it, click on the little buttons, brightness and contrast. If you want a like, brighter photo and more contrast, then yeah, you can edit like that. Uh, if you don't like it, just click on the adjustment layer and delete, right? Okay. Uh, so I've noticed that this arrow doesn't really look like an arrow so there's like a chip at the end I want you guys to make a perfect arrow as possible right uh, if we zoom in a bit so you can go control plus to go uh, in a bit more or a mouse wheel for you guys so you would press uh, this little mouse button here uh, make sure it's selected to direct selection tool instead of the path selection tool. This will allow you to press on the point itself. Right? 
So if you click on the path, it will give you these little points, right? So I want to edit this point here. So I'm going to click on that. It gives you a little white selected box. You, that means you can move it wherever you want to. Okay, like this, like this. Uh, you see how the fill is kind of making the arrow look a bit weird? If it's confusing you, just put fill to transparent. Okay, then now you can see the just the sticks. Now just if you move it around to here. Doesn't really have the perfect arrow. But you see what I mean, right? Uh, you can put the fill back on if you fix it. Then you can go zoom out and see how it looks like. It's not bad. It's pretty handsome. Okay, so that's that. Okay, make sure you save it. File, save as. Uh, yeah, transformation, apply. Um, I've named it. You can name it edited bricks. Or in my case, it would be edited brick. To just make sure that it's different from your original copy of JPEG. Okay, you don't want it to name the same thing because you're gonna lose your original one. Um, so just go to JPEG, change your format to JPEG. Okay, save. Okay, good. That's all that. And now we're moving on to this one here. Uh, I'm not gonna save this one. <laughs> So this one here, my eyes are leading from this side up toward this rocket. And now you notice that there's like a bit of a curve happening. This is when pen tool uh, becomes very useful. So you would again click to begin your point, right? Uh, click the end point to kind of curve. So right now I'm, I've pressed it and I haven't left go of the mouse button. I'm just pressing and holding it and now it gives you a nice curve. Right, and if you uh, press Alt, it will give you this, this like little triangle hat. Right? Do you see that? If you put it on top of the point, uh, click on it, then that means that you can kind of have your points. Oops, curved as well. You see a little nice curve, because if you just draw. I'm um, gonna make a new layer because if you just do that like you've curved it and then you try to draw an arrow like that and now it's got a weird uh, roundness happening if you like that you can keep it but if you want a pointiness just press down on alt click on it right then click on the point uh, be careful of the minus button, it erases the point, as I said earlier. And just click on that, and there you go, there's two arrows. So I don't need this arrow, I'm going to delete it, delete key. So now this arrow here is, has a little funny color again. So click on pen tool again, fill, no fill, stroke to black. Black works, but i rather have a different color than the... A silhouette color so I'll just put it red and there you go uh, if you want like a kind of a see-through arrow like this this photograph here you see how you can see through the fences make sure the arrow layer is selected and go to opacity bring that right down it's gonna give you that feel of uh, you can see the back of it so that's it. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.